Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard. I want to talk to you today about some very exciting research on aging that links the health of our intestinal skin, the health of the lymphatic system on the outside of your intestinal skin, and the microbiome, the microbes that make up 90% of the cells of the human body, which depend on the health of the intestinal skin and the lymphatic system that lines your intestinal tract to support optimal health and longevity. So these three factors have all been shown now to be linked to the aging process. So this is really cool because in Ayurveda, they were all over the health of the intestinal skin. That was like the, one of the major premises. They were also all about supporting healthy lymphatic flow. And only recently have researchers figured out a way to measure lymphatic flow. So only recently is all this research coming to fruition. So we're beginning to understand the lymphatic system. But Ayurveda knew about this stuff thousands and thousands of years ago. They didn't really talk about microbes. I guess they couldn't see them and, and neither can we. But everything that they talked about, supporting the health of the intestinal skin and supporting the function of the lymphatic flow on the outside of the intestinal skin, all supported optimal microbiology, optimal health and longevity according to the new science. So it's super exciting really to look at that. Now, here's what they found out. They found out that your intestinal skin replaces itself every four to five days. But if it gets old, it, that time lengthens significantly and dramatically. We have learned that the health of the intestinal epithelium, the skin of your intestinal tract, is directly linked to aging. The, the telomeres, which they found on the chromosomes inside your colon, when they get shorter, we age. When they get longer, we live longer. And they found that as we age, the actual chromosomal caps, which are linked to aging in your intestinal tract, get shorter. Okay? We also learned that the, the junctions inside your intestinal tract, there's little villi. And if those junctions open up, bad stuff can go through your intestinal skin, which is like a barrier to keep you all the yucky stuff out and the good stuff in. And if those junctions loosen, then the, that is directly linked to aging. And what happens is toxins can move into the inside of the lymphatic system, which is where it officially starts, is right there on the inside of your intestinal tract through little lacteals then what happens is as we age, we have more loose junctions, more vulnerable toxicity going into the, into the lymphatic vessels. The number of the lymphatic collecting ducts gets, get much, much less uh, as we age. And the lymphatic system is a detoxification system and a delivery system for good fats. We have found now, not we have, but the studies have shown that as people age, the lymphatic vessels themselves become like, like the arteries. They get fatty deposits on them. They start to bulge and inflame. They even start to become, the walls become thicker and more damaged. So we definitely see that the aging process, particularly the lymph around the intestinal tract, when it, when it gets damaged or dysfunctional, it's directly linked to stress and aging. We also found in other studies that the microbiome, the bugs, change as we age. As we age, we go from a lot of firmicutes, which are, which are more youthful microbes in the intestinal tract, that thrive in a very high fiber diet, to more bacteria deets, which, are, which, are, which uh, proliferate as we age, which are sort of thrive and linked to a higher starch, higher sugar, and higher fat most likely processed fat diet. Um, so one of the ways that we can protect our gut is, of course, to eat more fat, more good fibery foods, because the hunter-gatherers had 100 grams of fiber per day. We have 15. Major difference between our ancient ancestors and modern folks is that we, we don't get enough fiber. So there you have it is something that Ayurveda is so emphatic about. I mean, the whole thing, if you look at Ayurveda carefully, the whole thing is all about the intestinal skin, the quality. We talk about doing cleanses with ghee. Ghee turns out to manufacture or, hel or, or help support the pro proliferation of microbes in the gut, like Clostridium butyricum that makes butyric acid the primary ingredient in ghee that supports the health and the integrity and the immunity of your intestinal tract where 70 to 80 percent of your entire immune function is reserved. The production, pro manufacturing set of your serotonin and dopamine all produced in your 
intestinal tract supported by good healthy butyric acid, which turned out to be the main ingredient in ghee, which Ayurveda says, hey, let's put that ghee in there in cooking. Let's eat it, let's cleanse with it, let's detoxify it, let's nourish our intestinal skin in a big major way. We know that stress is when we're under a lot of stress, it takes out your good bugs and, and proliferates a lot of bad bugs. Well, Ayurveda was all about calm, relaxing, loving, giving, kindness, that your attitude, your emotion, the, 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 the quality of your life, they call it sattvic lifestyle, was supports a healthy microbiome. This is the new science, really fascinating stuff. And when you are in a loving, giving, kind environment and have that attitude, your good microbes proliferate and the health of your intestinal tract thrives. When you're under stress, it's a, you know, it's a fight or flight, save your life kind of situation. It's not meant to be every day of your life 24 seven. We're not meant to be violent. We can be if need be, but that's not what defines us. So the science and the ancient wisdom are merging once again, which what we do here at Life Spa is to bring it to you in this way. And so three foods that I love, love, love for these three things are beets, beans, and berries, your three Bs. Make sure you get them. Berries for the lymphatic system on the outside of your intestinal wall. Beans for the fiber. Make sure you get the good firmicutes as long as you possibly can. Live a long, healthy, healthy, happy, happy life. And of course, um, uh, um, beans and beets and berries and beets are the other one. And beets are natural lymphatic movers. They have nitrates that vasodilate. They support the health of the lymphatic system, healthy intestinal skin. Um, uh, beans do the similar thing. They feed the microbes in your gut. So beets, beans, and berries are powerful. Beets are great bile movers. And bile movers are the Pac-Man that gobble up all the yucky stuff in your intestinal skin to keep it clean and healthy. Herbs I talk about, of course, good probiotics are really important. I'm always a big fan of colonizing probiotics versus transient ones that go through. You gotta take them for the rest of your life. I don't believe we need to take probiotics for, or anything else for that matter for the rest of your life. The point of herbal support is to get on, get better, and get off. Uh, my favorite natural Ayurvedic probiotic is one called neem, which knocks out the bad guys and creates an environment for the good bugs to proliferate. Amalaki, my favorite herb for healing and repairing the intestinal skin, as well as the skin everywhere else in the body for that matter. And then of course, my favorite lymphatic moving herb is an herb called mangista. And I've written about that and all of this and more in the research about these three powerful tissues related to aging in the article associated with this video. So please check it out, fascinating stuff. And really, you take care of your intestinal skin and the lymph on the outside, man, that is the major premise of optimal health. New studies are showing, or it's a little bit conflicting now that the intestinal tract is as big as a tennis court, sometimes it's smaller, but still, it's a ton of surface area. And why we have so much is because we have backup. And the more healthy we can keep the intestinal skin and lymph around it, the longer we live, the healthier we are. As we age, we lose the ability to deliver nutrients and get rid of waste. And that's all determined in an article I wrote called The Most Important Half Inch in Your Body, which is where the lymph and the intestinal skin meet. And that's, we can put our attention there and take care of that. Boy, we're in business. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Vidar. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Duyard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.